Why do calorie calculators differ so much? I'm 31 years old, six foot tall, and weigh 90 kg, and have a moderate level of physical activity. These are the results that I got. The Harris-Benedict equation said that my maintenance is 3,498. The Mifflin-St. Gior equation said that my maintenance is 3,258. The catch mercado formula says my maintenance is 3,487. The Cunningham equation says my maintenance is 3,493. The Owen equation says my maintenance is 3,099. The average of all of these results are 3,367. And the biggest difference was between the Harris-Benedict equation and the Owen equation with 401 calories different. That's the difference between losing fat and not losing fat. But calorie calculators aren't perfect numbers. Calorie calculators are estimates and that's how you have to see them. We aren't robots yet and we don't burn the same amount of calories every single day. Some days we're more physically active. Some days we do more steps. Some days we work out harder. Some days we just sit in trees, sit on the couch and watch Netflix and eat Ben and Jerry's. We are different every single day. So we shouldn't have a perfect number. Use a calorie calculator. You can use any of these five formulas and it's gonna put you in a pretty good ballpark. But from there, you need to track your calories and see what happens over a few days and over a week and then a few weeks. If you start losing weight, you're in a deficit. If you start gaining weight, you're in a surplus. If your weight's staying the same, that is your maintenance. But you have to stick to a number or a range so that you can see what the data does with your weight. I know from years of tracking that my maintenance is what the Harris-Benedict equation says. It's about 3,500. If I eat that, my weight stays the same. If I eat 3,000, that's a calorie deficit where I lose about half a kilo per week, and that's awesome for me. If I wanna bulk, get on the gain train, then I'm going to go to about 4,000 calories and I'm going to gain weight. Find the number track and adjust accordingly. That's how you use a calorie calculator.